Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Advance Wars Days of Ruin. Last time we took on Coast Assault. Eh, it's not a bad one, it's just I kind of mucked up on the speed a little bit, but... Eh, it's a thing. This time we're doing Cat Island! And we get to play as Tabitha for the first time. So, we're facing off against Tasha. Uh, we're gonna build a couple of bikes. Uh, cause getting to these areas where the cities are, we're gonna need as much movement as possible. So, we're gonna do that. Um, it's gonna be a little bit silly at first, but we're gonna go ahead and kinda roll with it. I'm gonna get a bike here, and we're gonna go after one of her cities right off the bat, um, and just kind of build another bike. Again, it, the beginning of this is gonna be a little bit kind of oh, this is gonna be like every map you, you have to have that beginning where you start moving and capturing everything. So, it, just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, I'm gonna send him down this way actually to start capturing those bottom. Uh, cities. I'm gonna also have him go this way. I'm gonna have a bike built. Have you finished capturing? And I'm gonna end my turn with that. Now, you. Pro yep, you did. You built a tank. Alright. So that's just going to be what happens with that bit. Alright. We're going to just kind of slowly start capturing everything. I am going to build a tank up here. Uh, Gerg. I'm going to build a recon down here. Start capturing her city. And start capturing that that. Recon's mainly just there to kind of be a better attacker than a bike against the infantry. Oh, you move- I forget you move your tank there. Alright, well, no skin off my nose. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna finish capturing all these different properties. <laughs> And let's move you up there. Let's get another tank and call it a turn. I'm kind of interested in seeing what she does. Oh, yeah. That's not good. I'd rather not send my recon into that. Uh, pull back. And uh, let's move the tank up. Uh, okay. That's my fault. Let's get one, two. I'm gonna build a medium tank. Move my bike up that way. Have him move down that way. And just kind of slowly start capturing everything. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna tr depends on what she does this turn. I might build a co into my medium tank. That way I can have that early game, like, beater. Uh, typical for a tank. Oh, fantastic. You moved your artillery right there. Not a fan of that. Not a fan. Alright, we'll be like that. Fine. Let's do this. Boom. I'm also gonna... Darn it. <laughs> I don't have the capability of attacking his artillery like I want to. Ugh. 
So it's garbage. I'm gonna continue to capture that. That way I can have an extra property by the time he attacks me. Alright, and let's go after your infantry unit here. Because I don't want you capturing my city. I mean, yeah, that, that's my city. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end my turn on that. I. I think since my tank's up there, she's gonna move her tank off her HQ. I might be incorrect. I might be. We'll see. Although, you gotta hand it, that is the massive defense she gets. <laughs> it, uh, oh my gosh. That's a lot of damage resistance with that. Oh my goodness. Alright. And I'm gonna get rid of this. Because I don't like it. It's an eyesore. Um let's attack your infantry. I'm gonna get myself another bike unit. We're gonna also take care of the infantry completely. As I continue to fire on your artillery unit. There we go. Finish capturing that. Let's make sure you start losing some properties. And a lot of it is kind of just city control. It just of, okay, you're doing this, okay, I'm going to counter it. Uh, you did build the war tank, fantastic. Alright, um... I'm gonna build a tank, but send it south. Interesting. I mean, that's the smarter move. It, it really is. And a medium tank. Ooh, that's rough. Let's go ahead and attack your infantry. Um... Yeah, let's get rid of this. <laughs> I don't think you need that. Oh, really? Alright, I'll put my tank there. As unfortunate as it is, you're going to be the ticket I use to get a little bit closer to destroying your army. Finish capturing, finish capturing. I mean, I'm just gonna leave my tank there at this point. It's like, you wanna come after me? Fine. Cause it, she's not moving her tank to intercept and I'm not going to cause it to leave because I'd have to, yeah, I'd have to actually do something about it and I'm trying to put more of my resources to the middle currently. And if you're not gonna do anything about me having my tank destroy you, then I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, not the worst thing, but it's not the best thing. Start capturing. Bring in the war tank. Um. Yeah, do some damage to the medium tank. I do realize that the war tank's just sitting right there, but I do want to take care of this. Alright, uh, kinda sorta start capturing. <laughs> um.
We'll see. And get these bikes to start taking care of all these units down here. And then I start capturing all of her city zone down below. And I thought I told you, you're not getting my city. <laughs> you are a fool for thinking you can't. I'm gonna get myself a rocket launcher. <laughs> I mean, if I can get you to waste a giant, <laughs> if I can get you to waste a war tank bullet on that, I'm okay. And of course it brings me down to a nine. All right, let's take care of this. Oh, come on. I mean... It, it's... It, it's annoying, the fact that I had to do that, but alright. <laughs> but I will say that... <laughs> shows you how crazy, insane, and powerful that is. Her co-zone is absolutely ridiculous. Honestly, she's one of the few Ko's that I would say it's probably better off not to use her Ko-Power. Just, even though her Ko-Power is actually really good, I typically don't use it for the very fact that she it makes her units absolutely insane to deal with, so. That is just my opinion on that. And having a couple rocket launchers is gonna be nice. I'm gonna get myself another bike. <laughs> That way I can capture and help defend my tank that is inevitably going to be start it is, is inevitably going to be shot by that mech if I don't do something. All right. Uh Hmm. Alright, well, I've got you over there. Let's get rid of the war tank. That's the biggest thing. Get rid of the war tank. Have this guy slowly capture. Um... Let's get rid of the mech. I, I just don't care for the mech being there, honestly. It's a nuisance. That's why I bought these bikes to begin with. To kind of replace the ones that were getting in trouble over there. Let's see what you do. Of course. Alright, you're having your medium tank attack my tank, I figured. And you built a tank. You know, trying to find logic behind the logical fallacies of these NPCs is going to be a bit ridiculous, but, you know, let's just roll with what we got. Alright. Roll up a little bit closer. I don't want to move my artillery. Well, not my artillery, my war tank, because it's guarding my artillery unit. But I do want to do this. Move my tank a little bit over so it gives my rocket launchers 
I got both of them range on some enemies. And back to you, I'm going to repeat, hey, don't capture my fitty. And there, there's really not that much to do other than just continually and slowly build your army that you're going to roll over your enemy with at this point. That's all you're really doing. Because it's it, it's not a hard map. It's really not. It, it's more of you just trying to slowly uh, kind of pull the opponent's units where you want them and just pick them off one by one and and you don't have to do really well it's not really about that it's more of just hey I'm going to slowly just destroy your units by moving forward ever so slightly and ever so often essentially And the more units you can take out in one turn, the better. Alright, we got that. And we're going to start capturing his sit her city over here. Uh, move in the medium tanks. Uh, move in the war tank. I do actually need a rig. Because... I'm having units run out of ammunition. I can't have that. So, uh, medium tank. Yeah, just continue. Got rid of you. I'm going to put him on top of it. Uh. And I'll get an anti-air up there to kind of... Oh, I completely forgot the con... Oh my gosh. That's my bad. That's a goof on my end. Would have had a thousand less credits to build up something. Alright, what are you going to do? You have a mech unit up there. What did you build down there? A medium tank. Okay. That thing's gone. Uh, there's no way that thing's gonna live another turn. So... Supply both of them. Let's take out the... I can't even think of it. My bad. <laughs> the medium tank! Gosh. Let's have a rocket launcher start firing away. And let's also take care of the medium tank on the base. But I'm also going to take care of this. And I might act. Uh, gosh, she has nothing. <laughs> she seriously has nothing. Um. Well. <laughs> Let's see. I'm kind of half thinking why not at this point because I didn't think I'd be taking her down this quick. Um, depends on what she builds. Just a medium tank. Oh, that's all she can afford at this point. Uh, yeah, why not? I could probably actually end the entire thing at this point. 
and acorns in there. Now let's enjoy the show. And this is Firestorm. Boom. It, it's a meteor strike. It, then it's like, all right, let, let's just destroy everything that you own. <laughs> and all of her units get a supercharge in power. It, and it's weird because she's not the main villain in the game, and usually the main villain gets this ability of just nuking the entire uh, uh, area of the field. And it, you can tell where she hits because it makes the ground itself darker, and the sea darker, just everything turns into a darker kind of ashy-ish ashy color. So it's, it's really interesting. But yeah, we are gonna go ahead and just pile on all the hurt. And we're done. This one is another S rank. Wow. If I didn't lose one of those units, I would have had 100 in every category. But I think the pa it, the, what made up the power was the fact that I used my co-power. Because I was able to put even more damage on it. And I had... I, I did have medium tanks and war tanks and rockets that I was using that was dishing out a good bit of damage. So, yeah. And that, and the cool thing is, it it unlocks this, which is actually a war map from one of the older games. <laughs> I think it, it it was one that was even in the very first Advance Wars, and it was a one that appeared several times after that. So we'll eventually get to that one, which is actually just kind of interesting. I thought I'd point that out. Uh, but yeah, we have a little bit more. Hey, we've got three, well, technically four rows of all of these completed, and we've started our fifth one. And we're getting there. And we're slowly getting there. But, yeah. So in the next one, we will do Ground Clash. This one's gonna be one I don't know anything about yet. I might just kind of take a break. Even though I hadn't done that much recording at this point, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and jump into it. Um... But yeah, looks like we're going to be going land, sea, and air, possibly. Depends on how everything's set up for us. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.